Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in previous videos of this little FPS multiplayer series, we've made the weapons, weapon switching and synchronizing of it, as well as shooting with uh, this little funky animation with particle effects coming out as well. And yeah, so in this video, I thought we would make some simple UI, first of all, to have a little bit of health. So I'm just going to go onto this canvas where I already have the crosshair in the center. And in here, I also just want to add some text, text max pro, I want to import the essentials. I'm just going to call this my health text, health text and this is just gonna let's just for now write 100 auto size it make it nice and thick and maybe make it red so you can see that it's health and normally i would also just change the font but in this case i will not so let me drag the health text somewhere down here see how it looks on screen it'll be way bigger so we make it something like 20 at max and put it down there and there we go there we have some health text now let's make some managers so let me make a, a new empty game object here. I'm just going to call it game manager. And this is going to hold sort of all the manager objects. This means that I will also be having sort of a UI manager. I think it's just what I'm going to be using in this case. I'm going to call this a game UI manager. This is going to take care of changing all of the stuff necessary there. So let me just throw this on the game manager and open that up. I can already tell you the game manager is going to be network behavior. Now this script is not necessarily going to be network behavior. So I don't need to make this network behavior. What I will want though is I want a private static game UI manager and i'm going to call that instance if you're not familiar with the singleton pattern i greatly urge you to get a bit familiar with it it is really really good it's really powerful but you also have to be careful you can mess up with the singleton pattern and we of course don't want to do that but what i can do is instance equals to this but what we can do first if we can say if instance not equal to null we just want to destroy this component because it shouldn't exist because another one already exists and then we just return out of that and if this doesn't happen we just create the instance now in here i can have a public static void set health text and this should just have some kind of string which should be health text and now we can make a serialized field private text mesh pro ugui this needs to be using tm pro by the way and up here we can just put health text and then we can say health text dot text oh sorry we need instance dot health text dot text equals to for that sake let's just put this to be health and we just put that equals to the health like so now we can easily set this in here now what we need to do is we need to go to the player health script that we have here and whenever that the player takes damage now right now he only takes damage on the server which means the server needs to tell the player taking damage that he has taken damage here we should probably also go do underscore current current health oh sorry actually if current health is less than or equals to zero we can just do it in here we can just say the current health is just equals to zero as it should never be able to get under zero i think or less than zero and now we also need to tell the player that just took damage that well he took damage so so let's make a private void local take damage this will be a target rpc because the server will need to send data directly to this target the target obviously takes in a network connection we're just going to call it con and for that sake we can just send the new confirmed damage which let's do that int new health let's do that and so up here we call the local take damage this should be called to the owner and it should call the current health the thing is we could also just make the current health a sync bar and have that modify on change not a bad way to go about it but we might also want other things to happen or we want to be able to do other things immediately um, but it's really going to have the same outcome i'd say so now what we call in here is we call the game ui manager that set health text to the new health that to string like that and let's go and test this out now i just need the other editor to open oh and i actually just realized we need to of course set the reference here but we need to drag and drop the health text in and now if i go up here and i shoot him we can see now he take damage in the bottom left and you should also be able to see it'll never actually go below the zero mark well oh that's an ordering issue i just realized we are sending the information prior to actually setting it to zero again so this way this should never be able to be less than zero okay so that works now we have some very basic ui now what i think we can do from here is we can also just synchronize that we actually hit something so what we can do is we can have particles spawn for hitting you know terrain or for hitting the player or another player so that way we can have both blood particles and we can also have just some earthy particles something like that debris so let's go do that now i think that's going to be fun that's a fun little effect let me make a particle system i'm going to call this blood particles and we're going to be using basically the same setup so this should probably be i'm just going to speed up the footage and make some particles here there we go i think that's some blood particles that we can use i'm just also going to make some terrain hit particles go i think that works now let me save those two bit of particles so 
There we go. Now we can decipher if we want these particles to spawn for everyone or just for the player shooting them. So let's try and just make them spawn locally for now. Now if we go into the A player weapon again, we have the whole fire and hit detection thing here. And we probably also just want to throw the particles in here. So let's do that. So up here, for example, when we actually hit a player, we want to return. And then at the position of the hit, we want to spawn the blood particles. So let's get those immediately. Let's also get a particle system for the blood particles and we get some for the terrain hit particles and so down here we want to uh, instantiate the blood particles at the hit dot point and then we want to do it in the direction from the shooter which will then be the hit dot point minus transform dot position i think and this is of course a direction so this will be Eulerian.Euler of this, but normalized, I think. Oh, oops, that needs the next one. I think this is the right direction, but it might be the opposite direction. I actually just realized we probably wanted to just be the normal of the hit though. So we want to just do the hit.normal. I think that makes better sense. And this still needs to be a quaternion.look rotation at hit.normal. That should work. And then down here, we want to instantiate in the exact same fashion, but we just want to instantiate the terrain hit particles. And now let me just see how this looks. So let's try and go onto the player, go onto the pistol, and give it the lot particles and the terrain head particles. Same with the rifle, lot and terrain. And same with the shotgun, lot and terrain. Like so. Let me try and shoot. As we can see, now we actually hit the terrain. Oh, of course, but they loop. I completely forgot. No looping, and I want the stop action to just be destroy. Of course, now when we shoot, you can see we actually hit the terrain. Now it'll throw out those particles, and let me try and spawn the other player. So now when we hit him, you can see blood comes out of him. Now we can hit both the ground, we can hit the player, blood will shoot out. And yeah, that works just as intended. And I think in the next video, we can just have the gameplay loop of the enemy player actually spawning and despawning. And we should probably also try and synchronize this animation a little bit better. What we could do is we can make the animation faster, the faster the fire rate is. So let's try and see what makes sense to look into in next video. But uh, as you can see, a lot of the things now actually work. And uh, we got some UI. And uh, yeah, let's move on with the next one.